Hi, Cindy Breedlove here, and I'm so honored to have the opportunity to share in the daily devotion today. And as you can tell, I'm sitting here in our very own church alone and sharing the word with you today. So before we begin, let's take a moment and open in prayer. If you will bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful for your word and for your guidance. And Lord, I just ask that you will open each person's heart, head, ears, and eyes to hear the message you have for them today, to have them know your word that fits into their life at this time. In this we pray, amen. It's always an honor to get to share the Lord's word with you. And so we're going to begin by taking a look in the book of Romans. And that is the reason why I'm here at this church, because in the book of Romans, it is Paul sending a letter to the church in Rome. And all through the book of Romans is, is Paul's letter to the Romans. And he's letting them know that even though he's never met them, he lets them know how he loves them as brothers and sisters in Christ and how he longs for the day when he can be one-on-one -on -one with them and worship with them. I found that to be so appropriate because that's where we're at at this time right now. We're longing to be together as brothers and sisters in Christ and be able to worship together and share in the Lord's word and share in the Lord's music and just worshiping together as one. I look forward to, to that day when we're all together. And so let's begin taking a look at the, at, in the book of Romans, and we're going to take a look at Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. So if you'd like to grab your Bible, please do so, because I find that whenever you read the words yourself from your Bible, that those words can just jump off the page and have so much more meaning for you. As well as before I begin and share these words with you, I do get asked often how... I, how the words come off the page to me. And I'll share a couple things. First of all, I always, before I open my Bible, I always pray to God and I ask him, please show me what I need to know from the scripture you're going to be sharing with me, Lord. Show me where you want me to go. I often begin my mornings with uh, journaling. I journal first and then I'll read a devotional. From that devotional, there'll be other scriptures to follow to back up that devotional. And so, so often, a lot of my scripture that I end up reading comes from the devotional that I've read. And so this, devo this scripture I'm reading today is actually no different than the other devotionals that I've read. So let's begin and take a look at the scripture in the book of Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. And before we begin, I use the uh, King James Study Bible. Um, so if the words are a little different or said differently, you'll know that that's where I'm reading from. And I pray that you will as well grab your Bible and turn to the book of Romans. Again, chapter 5, we're going to look at verses 1 through 5. And so let's begin. Therefore, having been justified by faith. Now, church, you know how I am. I always like you to participate with me. So I'm going to say to you, justified how? How are we justified? We're justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by, again, how do we have access? We have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glorify in tribulations. You know, we're having a very trying time right now with not being able to gather here in our own church to worship, as well as having to have social distancing I mean, I can't tell you how much I miss being able to just be able to wrap my arms around my children who are grown adults and have their own lives. 
and as well as my grandchildren, not being able to see them and hug them and love them. It's a very trying time right now for so many of us as well as for our doctors and our nurses and all of our people that are out there keeping our grocery stores going, our pharmacies going, how they're out there every day in the trenches, seeing to it that we are cared for. And it takes us right to this verse in the Bible where it says that we can still glorify in this time. I'm so grateful for each of you that are out there serving and providing for each of us as we continue to do our part and stay at home and not spread this virus any further. So it says here that we can also glorify during tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope. Now hope does not Disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Now, Paul states here so very clearly that hope, faith, and love are at the heart of our Christian lives, that our relationship begins with faith. And I pray it that this time that your faith is getting stronger and not weaker in this isolated time. And I pray that, uh, that faith will help you realize that we are delivered from our past because of Christ's death when he died on that cross. You know, when we accepted the Lord Jesus Christ into our hearts, our sins were forgiven. You know, it's been amazing to me during this time that I've had the opportunity to share not only my own testimony with uh, some of my colleagues, as well as others who have reached out to me via Facebook Messenger, where they've said, you know, their faith has gotten a little weak at this time. And and they're curious to what this looks like and how the future will look and you know how come god hasn't removed us from this you know i don't have all the answers and nor will i ever claim to but i can tell you my faith tells me that no matter this tribulated time that we're having that he is still here beside us and that when he had his son die on that cross for us to forgive our sins we were given peace, peace that can live in us during this trying time. And so I encourage you that if your faith is running weak or you're not having peace within you, I ask you to turn to Romans 5 and reread Romans 5, 1 through 5, because it truly states here that we have been justified by faith and that we have access by our faith. So if your peace is lacking or your faith is lacking, what I'm going to ask you to do is to open up your Bible and ask God to show you, show you where to find that faith and that peace that surpasses all understanding. Also, I wanted to share with you when we look at Romans 5, verse 5 through 5, if you'll notice that all members of the Trinity are involved in our salvation. The Father loved us so much that he sent his Son to bridge the gap between us. And you find this in John 3.16. The Father and the Son sent the Holy Spirit to fill our lives with love and to enable us to live by his power. With all of this loving care, how can we do less than serving him completely? I just found that the book of Romans, verse 5, 1 through 5, truly touched my life. And I hope and pray that it's done the same for you. We have been justified 
by faith. And we have all the access that we need if we will have the faith. And so let me share with you a couple of steps. If your faith is running low, and I've been there, so I can share that with you. I've been there. I'm, I'm not exempt to this. And at times I wonder, when, when will this end? And so I'd like to share with you some ways in which I've turned my faith and my questioning around. And so I, how I've done this is many of times I've just basically, I have gotten on my knees in my own bedroom and I've gotten on my knees and I've just cried out to God. I've just said, God, I don't know how to handle this situation. I don't know how to get through this day. And I just cry out to God and I just ask him, God, please, please show me how to get through this, how to know the words to say and the things to do that will glorify you. Show me how to be more like you and less like me. And so often that's just what I will do sometimes in, in my bedroom floor as I cry out to God. And when I do that, I have found so many times that God will lift the burdens off of my shoulders and give me peace that surpasses all understanding for that day. Just for that day, I feel that I can live in a little greater peace and understanding of how to get through. You know, as you notice, I said just that day, you know, so often, you know, we may do this, what I call a prayer a day to keep the devil away. I, I've done that many of times myself. But what we're meant to do in order to grow our faith in God is this. And I do this, and please hear me, because I, I do this every day when I get up. I ask God, I said, God, I give you this day. I ask you to guide my words, my heart, my head, and my eyes to be able to see what you have for today. Because God, when I look at the day, so often I see too many trials, which causes my faith to run low. And so Lord, I just ask you to show me, show me today. And that's where it begins. If we will give God each day, each morning, just get up and give him the day again, we will find that our faith will get stronger and that he will guide us and show us how to get through that day, how to get through this trial. You know, at a time like this, we don't know. We don't know when this church is going to be opened back up for us to come and worship. We don't know. Many of us don't know when we're going to be able to return back to our offices to work with our colleagues. We don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. But you know, before this virus ever hit, we didn't know what tomorrow was going to bring before then either. We don't know our tomorrows, and we don't even really know our todays. So in order to be able to live in faith, we must give God our day. We must give him each moment of our day. And so how we do this is simple. We just pray to God, you know, as we're homeschooling kids and at home with a bunch of people in our house where there seems to be a, not enough space for any of us, how do we give him that day? And an easy way to do that is maybe just step away and say a prayer and just ask God to give you the patience you're needing at this moment and just ask God to get you through today. That is how our faith grows. It grows day by day. And that's how when we grow, in Christ day by day that we're able to see glory in our tribulations just as Paul had mentioned in Romans 5 1 through 5 and so as I leave you today I pray that this message has helped to guide your heart and guide your head and open you to be able to be able to just be able to have that faith 
and be able to have a peace that surpasses all understanding. And so until we meet again, I say God bless and to give him your day. Amen.